Today, I'm pleased to present a starting point for solutions, the United Nations Global Principles for Information Integrity. These five principles, social trust and resilience, independent, free, and pluralistic media, healthy incentives, transparency and research, and public empowerment are based on an overriding vision of a more humane information system. They call for an information environment that champions human rights and a sustainable future, and they provide a solid foundation for sustainable, inclusive development, climate action, democracy, and peace. So, dear members of the media, threats to information integrity are not new, but they are proliferating and expanding unprecedented speed on digital platforms and supercharged by AI technologies. Science, facts, human rights, public health, climate action are under attack. And when information integrity is targeted, so is democracy, which depends on a shared, fact-based perception of reality. False narratives, distortions and lies breed cynicism, disbelief and disengagement. They undermine social cohesion, putting the sustainable development goals further out of reach. Opaque algorithms push people into information bubbles and reinforce prejudices, including racism, misogyny and discrimination of all kinds. Women, refugees, migrants, and minorities are common targets. Activists, advocates, researchers, scientists, and leaders are harassed and humiliated. And the damage goes far beyond the digital realm, affecting billions of people who are not connected to the internet. Lives are at stake when lies are spread about vaccines and other medical issues. The United Nations' own operations and missions are compromised as our staff deal with a tsunami of falsehoods and absurd conspiracy theories. So, distinguished members of the media and dear friends, the United Nations' global principles for information integrity are the result of broad consultations with member states, with youth leaders, academia, civil society, the private sector, including tech companies, and you, the media. Those consultations showed that much of the world shares our deep concern and is searching for solutions. And the global principles lay out a clear plan forward, firmly rooted in human rights, including the rights to freedom of expression and opinion. And I urge governments, the tech sector, and other stakeholders to listen to your people and your customers and to respond. Some stakeholders carry, out, carry an outsized responsibility. And for them, I have a clear message. We demand action. First, to the big tech companies, take responsibility. Acknowledge the damage your products are inflicting on people and communities, and you have the power to mitigate harm to people and societies around the world. You have the power to change business models that profit from disinformation and hate. Second, to advertisers and the PR industry, stop monetizing harmful content. Strengthen information integrity, protect your brand, boost your bottom line. The climate crisis is a cause of particular concern. Coordinated disinformation campaigns are seeking to undermine climate action. Creatives, don't use your talents to greenwash. PR agencies, Look for clients who aren't misleading people and destroying our planet. Third, my message to media outlets is raise and reinforce editorial standards. Do your part to safeguard our future by providing quality journalism based on facts and reality. Find advertisers who are part of the solution, not the problem. And finally, I say to governments, commit to creating and maintaining a free, viable, independent, and plural media landscape. Guarantee strong protections for journalists. Ensure regulations uphold human rights. And refrain from drastic measures, including blanket internet shutdowns.